welcome to my workshop and welcome to this same smart Jumitsu Prover XL 6050 plus electrical build so today we're going to connect up all the electrics into the control box over there it's also the power supply and connect it up to a computer and tune it all in get it all running So after getting your very sticky tape off, uh, what you need to do is, for, look, for packaging purposes, they've actually uh, split this part. So you just easily slide the cable back down, like that. And clip it back in, like that. It just snaps back in, very easy. Make sure the cable's pulled up firmly. And there's one cable here that's not. Let's see what they've done. Okay, so my suggestion would be to start with the uh, top of the gantry, the x axis. Just lay it flat and hook it in on its rest here and lie it over like so and we're going to connect the top up here first uh, and that you use these uh, four millimeter screws, a little tiny ones, four millimeter uh, by uh, five or six mil, six millimeter long, okay. And these are countersunk head screws. So we're going to pop these in first, which is fairly simple. So as you get this wire out the way, I'm going to pop one in there. Actually, I might get two in there. Like that might be easier. Like that. Just a standard Phillips screwdriver. The little tiny one they provide is really only for the uh, limit switches. So we'll start that one. And then, let me pop that in. Don't do it up really tight yet. Just Dip him down. We we'll slot those through. Slot it through a little further, rather. And we'll get two more and put up this end. As this is going into plastic, there's no need to actually do it up, you know, sort of really jam it up tight. Firm is okay. Now, this side, okay. I would suggest to wrap, wrap the cable around the back of the stepper motor there, the x-axis stepper motor, and we'll screw this on here. Fairly easy process, actually this is the easiest wiring job I have ever done for a CNC router. Simple, because all the work is done for you. Okay, last bracket, let's put this on here, just double the cable over a bit.
So all we need to do now is connect the wires up and it is the most simplest CNC router wiring I have ever seen actually. So this is the everything is labelled. Okay, x-axis motor. This is obviously the x-axis motor. Now you can't go wrong because you can't put the wrong plug in the wrong hole. That goes that way around. Until it clicks. In firm and I can tidy this up later. I can put some zip ties on it. And of course this is a different plug. Y limit, Y limit. And we just pop it in there like which way around that way around. Click. That's in. Yeah, I'll zip tie these up later to make it nice and tidy. Okay, so this end we have, let me see. Uh that's one of the Z limits spindle so we put that one over there at the way actually for the moment because that one's got to you got to take real good care of that one so let's plug in the Z motor first Z motor like that click so now then we have the X limit. Here's the X limit. And turn it around so we go on there. Click. That one's in. What we got here? Okay, laser. Uh, we don't uh, it's, it's nice to know there's already cabled up for a laser which uh, we don't have for this particular model not yet anyway and we plug this one in which is the Z limit okay so I will zip tie these up and make it nice and tidy in a minute but I just want to take you around to the front um, because you've got to be fairly careful with these the 300 watt spindle motor these you must ensure that the plastic cover on the electrical connectors is fully down and uh, clipped in really tight I mean it does cover it and it probably is okay but I'm going to put some uh, electrical tape on that as well to make sure okay so obviously red to red black to black and again we will zip tie these cables up so you know they're not going to get snagged anywhere and I'm going to put some tape electrical insulation tape on this as well and basically the machine or the main machine side is connected up and of course the last connection is the Y stepper motor at the back. So before we put any of the connectors into the back of the power supply and control unit, there's a little switch on the side here which is very important. This is the first uh, thing you should check and alter to suit your power requirements in your region. Now, I live in Australia and we are on 2, 220 to 240 and this is set for 115 so we need to alter this okay 230 volt that's now correct for Australia now connecting up to the uh, control box and also the power supply unit 
it is very, very simple. We are looking for the x, let me see what we've got here, x, z, and that's laser, x, z, and y. So we do those first. So X is first. Now these plugs will only go in one way. The two outer ones here are square, have square corners, so they, they go there that way around. That's the X. The next one is the Y. Y. This one's a Z. Okay, uh, we're not. I won't connect into the laser because it's not. I'm not going to be using on this. So pull that one back out of the way. So we've got uh, limit switches. Which one do we want first? Uh, X. Y and Z. Actually, just to keep this out the way, we probably could connect it. And I'm never going to use it, but we'll connect it anyway. And the last cable here is, of course, the spindle. Let's make a bit of room here. There's a little lug here. Can we see that? Yep. There's a little lug there that lines up with one in the top there. And in that goes and then screw that on. And last but not least is the Z probe. Uh, I won't actually undo all this for now, but uh, we will connect this up now anyway, like so. And of course, the other half of the probe and that is here, and we'll connect that up in just a, a little bit. So basically, that's all the connections you you need. Look, just to say that I've done it. Here is the connection of the probe. Okay, we'll sort that out a bit later. And of course, the very, very last plug to go in is the mains power feed. Oh.